This is how senior officers of the Port of Spain Division described the series of events that took place on Monday night that resulted in two people, including a police officer, being shot and another being killed during a confrontation with police. We've more of this story from Alexander Brazal. TV6 News was told that the series of unfortunate events began at about 8.30 p.m. yesterday when a 26-year-old Diego Martin man was shot on St. Paul Street in Port of Spain. The victim told investigators that he was exiting the car park at the Spree Simon Flats after visiting his girlfriend when he observed two masked men standing in the road. They were holding firearms. The suspects shot at the 26-year-old, hitting his silver Mazda 3 vehicle before entering a silver Suzuki Landy, which was parked nearby. They then drove off. A black Honda vessel was also observed speeding away. Residents found the 26-year-old man in the front seat of his car bleeding from multiple gunshot wounds and called the police. He was taken to the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex in Mount Hope where he was treated. His condition is listed as critical. Police say 47 spent 5.56 mm shells and 37 spent 9 mm shells were found on the scene of the shooting as well as one live round of 9mm ammunition. Alexander Bruzwal, TV6 News. To the St. Paul Street fracas was Garden Emergency Branch Officer PC Shakala Charles. He was in a marked police vehicle on patrol with three other GEB officers when they heard loud explosions. The officers went to St. Paul Street to where they saw a silver seven-seater vehicle with sliding doors opened. Before they were able to exit, loud explosions were heard and the officers took cover. Charles cried out in pain and was immediately taken to the Port of Spain General Hospital. Police Commissioner Erla Christopher expressed deep concern over the incident, saying in a statement, quote, This and any act of violence committed against any officer of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service is absolutely unacceptable and will not be taken lightly, end quote. She said the situation highlights the true courage and commitment of officers who put their lives on the line daily to safeguard communities. Christopher says an attack on an officer is an attack on the foundation of society, adding, quote, These acts will not be tolerated and we will pursue all necessary measures to bring the perpetrators of this crime to justice. Those who feel emboldened to commit acts of lawlessness will feel the full force of the TTPS. The injured officer is said to be in a serious but stable condition at hospital.